Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Hope you are all well. Now, first of all, just before we get into it, uh, we're going to do something quite uh, really interesting today. I'm just going to showcase you to you how you can so quickly get incredible insight into your data uh, if you set things up well in Power BI. But before we, we jump into it, I just want to remind you, if you want to download this resource, including uh, selected resources from a range of Enterprise DNA TV uh, tutorials, then through a small investment in, uh, that you can access in the link below, uh, you can gain access to all these enterprise DNA TV resources. So check it out. Now, what we're going to go through today is I just want to show you in about five to seven minutes how quickly you can discover the key things or some of the most important things that you want, that you need to know uh, about um, about some data that you might have. Now, Power BI, I mean, this is the true um, you know, power of Power BI, basically. You know, how quickly you can actually extract this insight that historically might have taken you ages. It was seriously a long time to actually achieve this. I mean, if you were using Excel, you would have to create lots of different columns. You'd have to create lots of different V lookups, some ad formulas, some product formulas. It goes on and on and on. But with Power BI, uh, you know, with the data model and by using DAX formula, we can achieve uh, what you historically might have taken you days in about five minutes. It's, it's seriously unbelievable. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just walk through what scenario we're working with here. Basically, what we've got here is we've got an organization, a retail organization, which, which, which sells goods uh, throughout, uh, throughout the east coast of the U.S., so uh, we've got a range of different dimensions here. So it's a pretty simple data model. There's nothing too complex here, but we've got our customers, we've got salespeople, products, locations, and dates. And all of our information of our sales is down in the sales table. So if we quickly just jump to that, we can see here that we on every single day we sell a product. It's got a location associated to it, a salesperson who sold it, the customer who bought it, and what quantity they sold. So, if you, what is amazing actually is is how little information you actually need in your fact table. If I just change the format here, how little information you actually need to be able to achieve such good insight. I mean, there is no pricing information here. There's no uh, there's no revenue information. We're going to create it all dynamically inside of DAX formulas. Now, there is that information does exist. It just doesn't exist in our fact table here. So this is a really optimized fact table. It's only seven columns long. Is that right? Yes, seven columns long. And uh, all of the other information, it actually hangs out in our lookup tables, which is, uh, which is this is one example of our product table, where we actually have the sale price, uh, the current price, uh, the original sales price, sorry, the current price and the cost. So just from this insight, we can go and grab our profit information just like that. So let's actually just do it. Let's jump in and start creating some formula. Now, the very first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a measure table. So if you don't know how to do that, this is this is how you do it, basically. So I'm going to go into data. I'm going to put just a, a placeholder in there. I'm going to call this key measures. <clears throat> and that's going to create a table for me, which is going to come up here. It's also going to sit in our model, but we just leave it there. It's got no connection to anything. And I'm going to create my first first measure inside of here. I'm going to go total sales, and I'm going to use sum x here. I'm going to say we'll go to the sales table, and through, for every single row in the sales table, I want to go quantity times by the related, because related can reach back up into a lookup table by the related uh, current price. Now I've got my total sales. I can just I can actually delete this column and uh, flip that in and out. And now I've got my measure table up here, which is great. Okay, and then so to go to go total costs, let's check out all we got to do is copy and paste. I'm going to change that from total sales into total costs. And um, instead of current price, obviously we've got to change this to cost. Okay, so we've got total sales and total costs. And guess what? We need to go to total profits now. I'm going to create another new measure. You can see how quickly you can create this. I'm going to go total sales minus total costs. All of a sudden, in about less than a minute and a half, we now have our total profits. And so now, and hopefully you can now recognize, well, very quickly with our data model, we can get all the inside of understanding well, where are our profits coming from. Okay, well, so let's go and have a look at, uh, let's go and have a look at our customers. Which customers are generating most of our profits? So we can look at um, our, our uh, customer performance information here. We can, we can rank it, obviously, or sort it. 
and then say I want to very quickly change this to uh, I want to change this to my locations so I want to bring in the name of the name of the location that we're selling to the one other thing you want to do is you probably want to format this as well so I'll just I'll just quickly do that and then I'm going to copy and paste and put this I'm going to put this against uh, so we want to actually see what the products uh, what products are generating most of our profits and what else have we got here? We've got salespeople as well, so we can actually also do that. So I'm going to get grab my salesperson, and, I, and as, you, as you can see, I'm just copying and pasting. That's, that's all you've got to do in a lot of cases. So I'm going to go my salesperson name there. Great. Okay. So now we basically have we've brought in something the, the key dimension from all of our lookup tables, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to change all of these tables into visualizations. That was not that did not work. So what I need to do is go through each individual one. I mean, you could obviously turn these visualizations or utilize these visualizations in different ways. There's so many different ways you could you could obviously you, uh, swing it. And then now we've got very quickly. Well, I would say in under less, less than five minutes, I now can view my top my top my profits by customer, uh, location, product, and salespeople. And then we could even jazz this up a little bit. So. I might want to put my data labels on there and I have no um, no abbreviations and then we can we can also and this is the other cool thing is very quickly we can actually look at every something by the month and year so I'm just going to turn this into a slicer into a drop down and then we'll say for instance not only do we want to know profits through time we want to actually view profits per uh, per time frame. So if we want to just look at May, we can see, okay, well, I guess the only other thing we probably want to do is we probably want to, we probably want to actually compare because it's okay, it's all good looking at this information and saying, okay, well, these are our, this is where all our profits coming from, but we, we probably want to compare it to a total. So we've got our uh, we can turn this into a card. We can, we can say, okay, well, in, in May, in May 2017, we made 317k, and then we can very quickly evaluate. Well, okay, so these, um, you know, these top 10 customers, they, 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 they equated to some somewhere in the realms of 20% of our profit or something like that. So that's, so, so I guess the main thing I wanted to highlight here was just how quickly, how quickly you can actually get to this insight. And there's obviously so much more you can do here. I mean, this is just a, a, a preliminary example, but I wanted to show in less than five minutes or so, I mean, how quickly you can see all this information. I mean, I just remember back to my Excel days, how many V lookups and some of the formulas I had to create just to actually get to this point. Uh, and it was a nightmare, absolute nightmare. Uh, and you know, with the power of the data model, I mean, we can take this. I can even take this further so quickly. Say, for instance, we want to actually now jump into state. We want to state, see our profits per state. Well, I could then create a visualization, or maybe a, maybe a pie chart or something like that, and uh, turn this, uh, sort this by the actual profits. And then, if I wanted to actually look at where are our profits coming from in Florida for the for May 2017. <sighs> then everything filters underneath. This doesn't look too good, obviously, because what we're gonna do is change the interactions. So if we do that, we can now see uh, dynamically how that changes per uh, per selection. So say we're in the New York state, uh, or let's go, let's actually go a smaller one. So we've got Virginia, you know, we can really really quickly see, okay, f so 20, 27, um, 27K in total, and our top, you know, our top customers obviously contributed um, you know, 20, 30 percent. Just, just, just at a quick glance, I can, I can, I can garner that. So, uh, and then obviously products that were selling, so on and so forth. Another cool derivative you could go to from here is maybe you wanted to do percentage. So you actually wanted to see the percentage of total. So that's another uh, technique uh, that you might want to dive into in time, uh, but not, not too difficult. I mean, it's just uh, understanding the key thing there is understanding what the all statement does. Um, so if you want to uh, learn a bit more about that, I think that there is uh, certainly a, a video from Enterprise, on Enterprise DNA TV that goes through what the all statement does. I think it actually goes through that exact example. So don't, um, so certainly check that out. If you type that into the search bar, I'm sure you'll find it. But another, there would be another good way to actually see. Okay, well, to really quickly calculate the percentage, I'm just, I'm just quickly calculating it in my head just by looking at it. But <clears throat> before I round out, the key thing, the key thing that I wanted to showcase with this video is just how quickly. 
I mean, how quickly we were able to start from nothing, start from a re- you know, there's there's hardly any information. There's hardly there's literally hardly any information inside of this fact table. I mean, there's no additional calculated columns. There's no uh, pricing information. There's no revenue information, so on and so forth. I just generated it in a couple of DAX formulas, branched down to total profits, and then all of a sudden with the power of the data model and all these internal filters or uh, context that it can be created from the data model, I was able to then really quickly see well, where are my profits coming from in each region. So think about you're in a meeting and you wanted to dive into this sort of insight, you know, check, think about how quickly you can get there. It's, um, it's seriously, seriously amazing. So just a reminder, if you want to download, if you want to download this resource, you can. Just a small investment required. Uh, the details for that are in the description below. If you if you really like this content, pre, would love a like on the video. Really, really appreciate it. And then if you want to also get brand new content every weekday from Enterprise DNA, then make sure to subscribe. Uh, there'll be fresh, awesome content just like this coming out every every single weekday. So uh, before I close off, just want to wish you all the best with this technique and, and many other techniques that are showcased through Enterprise DNA TV. Uh, if you watch them closely and, and, and learn from them, I'm sure you will deliver some awesome stuff inside of Power BI. So good luck with it. Cheers.